Welcome to my lecture online. We're finally ready to normalize our function, the solution to the Schrodinger equation that describes the quantum mechanic oscillator. So here we have the equation for quantum state n equals 1. So we have a constant c1 that we're trying to find, e to the minus alpha x squared over 2, and the square root of m omega over h bar times x. So that's a general solution to the quantum state n equals 1. What we're doing now is we're taking this constant right here and adding it to C1 to create a new constant A1, and we're going to normalize A1. So what we need to do now is take our function, square it, and integrate it from minus infinity to infinity, and set it equal to 1. That's how we normalize it. Well, because of the symmetry, we can actually integrate it from 0 to infinity and multiply it times 2. So we have our function squared times dx times 2, integral, integrated from 0 to infinity, and of course, we set that equal to 1. So what we, hey, I keep forgetting to set equal to 1. There we go, set it equal to 1. All right, so now we have a sub 1 squared, x squared, this quantity squared, so now that we get rid of the divided by 2, times dx. And now, of course, we need to use our handy integral equation, where the integral, well, first we're going to take out a1 squared, so that the constant is out, and if we integrate this, this becomes equal to 1 over 4 alpha times the square root of pi over alpha. Remember that list of integrals that we gave you on the previous video? That comes in very handy right now. So we set that equal to 1. Now we take the 1 over 4 alpha, move it to the other side, so we multiply the other side, we, we turn this one around, we divide both sides by 2, and we take the square root that gives us a1 equal to the square root of 2 alpha times the fourth root of alpha over pi, of course, alpha again defined right here. So what that means is, since a is equal to this, and what I've done is, I've replaced alpha by what alpha is equal to, m omega over h bar, and over there as well, m omega over h bar. Then we compare that to the general solution of the equation that we saw on a couple of videos ago for the quantum state number one. Now notice that if we multiply the square root of two times the square root of two, that becomes two, and we divide that into two, the twos drop out. We end up with the exact same equation that we started with over here, where a1 is going to be the, multi is going to be the product of the, of the fourth root of this, and the square root of this. And so that gives us the equation that we were looking for. And that's how we normalize the function describing the harmonic oscillator or the quantum harmonic oscillator. And that's how it's done.